Welcome into the Beat Sessions. I am your host, Mitchell Weary. We are looking at the brand new record from Amy Renee Noonan Hedeman, also known as Queen Irby, entitled The Woman, which she released on May 21st. This is her debut solo record. Really excited about this project. After a number of singles, number of EPs since 2017, she's finally delivered this record, and it's a banger. I admittedly, I've had a couple busy weeks and totally spaced that this came out. Thank you to my good friend Chantel for looking at me and telling me I need a role model. She threw it on. We had a good time listening to it the other night with her husband. And I've listened to it a number of times since then. This thing is great. I love her style as far as the way she mixes hip-hop, R&B. There's a little bit of pop, a little bit of reggaeton in there. It's pretty poppy, actually. I will say that. It's not just a little bit. There's a big influence there. But she's just, she's just a cooler, edgier Lady Gaga, I think, uh, is, is how I would describe her. I love her songs for the adventurous structure. I mean, she basically just tr throws songwriting rules out the door and does whatever she wants, whether it's, you know, vocally, you know, rapping to singing back and forth there. You know, I feel like her songs can easily start in one place and be in a, a completely different spot three minutes by the end of it. And, and, you know, without lacking continuity. I mean, they feel like full compositions. I mean, and it's just incredible how fun and playful they are. Her ability to just sound like a songbird one moment and then spit hot fire another is uh, just one of my favorite things. She reminds me of Lauren Hill a lot in that regard. There's, I don't know of too many people who, who do that well. Um, so she's got an incredible voice that's on full display on this. And when she, when she starts flowing, I mean, she could spit. She's just absolutely incredible. Balenciaga Dreams is this track that the, uh, the album opens with. It's got a big vocal intro from her. Then the beat drops. She comes in, raps a little bit to finish off the track. It's very much a a prime example of what this record is, you know, going to look and feel like uh, it moves into the track faster. Second song, a uh, very solid blend of pop and hip hop. I think you're going to listen to a lot of these songs in a lot of different clubs over the summer. It's going to be a really popular record. A woman flamenco intro uh, transitions into just this like full on banger, really, again, highlighting that playfulness as far as the way she structures songs and kind of just does whatever she wants. Naughty Girl is a hell of a song. I mean, what a single off of uh, off of this thing. I am uh, really impressed with the uh, with just the upbeat overall. Like it, it might be one of the best pop songs of the year. It's incredible. Juice, also, it's where you know you really get to see her flow at its finest. I mean, just like sonic rapid fire at, at points in this song. It's really just uh, brilliantly put together. I'm a big fan of it. Black Sheep is uh, a little more balladry after Juice. Uh, it's actually like the first ballad on the record. Slows it down a little bit. Got that nice R&B feel to it. Good Morning is the seventh track on this record, which is cool. It's a, uh, it's a spoken word track. Very inspirational. It's Queen basically just delivering truth. And I think that, you know, I mean, obviously for the women, but I think even men can listen to, you know, the things that she says and, and find just absolute truth in, um, you know, her... Her ideas of, you know, a person and how they should manage their ambitions and, and their dreams and, and, and just their personal day-to-day -day life. And, you know, the, uh, the idea that life is about mindset and you get to choose that ultimately. So I like Queen for that reason. She's definitely just got this good positive vibe about her. Mother Teresa kicks in after that. Uh, chill, up-tempo R&B track. That's great. And then I really dug the song Gucci Vision. Um, pretty much probably like the just most solid, straightforward hip-hop track on this record. But the whole thing from start to finish, all 12 songs at 40 minutes is amazing. And I, I, I can't say it enough. Vinyl, please, like, please enjoy this record. I hope you dig it. I hope you find this review helpful as well. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the live show on Sunday nights. We will see you next time.